Hi, TOT Carlson here, and Kino Lorber has really been on fire with these early Stanley Kubrick film releases. Kubrick, of course, being the director who'd go on to give us movies like Dr. Strangelove, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Clockwork Orange, The Shining, Full Metal Jacket. But he started his career like back in the early 1950s, and today we're looking at his third feature film, The Killing. This one, of course, starring the always entertaining Sterling Hayden, but then also featuring supporting parts from a variety of excellent players, including the likes of Elisha Cook, Timothy Carey, Joe Turkle. The latter two would go on to star in Kubrick's next film, Paths of Glory. We'll do an unboxing for this latest Kubrick release from Kino Lorber, and then I'll share my opinions. Nice close-up of the packaging there. I love that old-school style artwork. Here's our spine text. Back of the cover with all the legalese and a few photographs from the movie. List of features, credits, legalese, and so forth. Now, unlike the Killer's Kiss release we looked at a few weeks ago, this one actually does have reversible artwork. I went ahead and reversed it already, so you have something that's you know, more akin to the way the original movie poster probably looked. Spine text. Back is pretty much the same. And then inside there, of course, you can see the uh, art that's similar to the exterior of the slipcase. And inside we have our disc. No inserts or anything, disappointingly, but again, I come for the movie, so no great loss. The Killing is a great uh, noir heist thriller, again starring Sterling Hayden, who's just been released from prison following some crimes that he was sentenced for. And he, along with several people that work at or for a local racetrack, get together to create the perfect heist, to rip off the racetrack and get well over a million dollars, which they'll divide amongst themselves when it's all said and done. Will they manage to pull off their heist, or will everything go horribly wrong? Heist movies are nothing new, and of course they're still making them to this day. The Killing only being Stanley Kubrick's third feature film, you would probably think, might not be a masterwork of this genre, but you would be horribly wrong because he nails it out of the park with this one. I mean, the movie runs just over 80 minutes, but it's full of story, full of interesting characters, plenty of interesting plot twists, and I think anyone that watches this wanting an old-school noir heist thriller is going to be very impressed with what they see here. I would say this is something of a lost classic, and of course it's the work here that really inspired uh, Kirk Douglas to seek out Stanley Kubrick to work on his next film, Paths of Glory. Of course, the two would later work together again on Spartacus, although their partnership would dissolve after that due to the uh, inevitable creative differences. So how does the killing look in 4K? I also do want to stress that this is the 4K disc only and it does not include a Blu-ray copy of the film, which is commonplace with some of these boutique label releases. But I'm happy to say that the remastering job here does not disappoint at all. The killing looks fantastic. These black and white films with the HDR treatment can look beautiful. And I'm happy to say this is no exception. I'd say the transfer is right about on par with the work they did on Killer's Kiss, which again I looked at on here a few weeks ago. And I don't think that fans of the movie will be let down with what they see. Disappointingly, bonus features are fairly limited. We just got a commentary track and some trailers for other early Stanley Kubrick films. It would have been nice to get more bonus features here, but again, if you just came for the movie, I don't think you're going to be disappointed with the quality of the transfer. Are you a fan of Stanley Kubrick, and where would you put the killing in ranking his filmography? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.